you imagine what it's going to be like and then you get here and it just blows expectations out of the roof like unbelievable unreal unbelievable just, I think, words can't words can't touch it i think yeah there are definitely times that test you physically mentally um there are things you could never have prepared for that just crop up and you can do nothing about. And then there are times that are like unbelievable, the stars, you know, wildlife. There are things you that learn a lot about each, other, about each other and about yourself um, when out there. I mean, just when you're faced up against some of the things there and, and just the sort of, just the full on pain, of just sort of crossing. I mean, you just, you learn a lot about yourself and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing when crossing. I think some of the biggest things were well, our GPS broke for a day, so we didn't, you know, for days, we didn't really know where we were going. Um, we just kind of had to keep on the course we were heading on and just hope for the best until we got things back up and running. Um, and our AIS too, that went. At the start of the race, so we had a really fast start and then you get, get into it and you start going really slowly, you're going into headwinds, you're used to going fast, there's nothing you can do, you're going really slowly, all you want to do is get some miles in and you can't. Um, you just sit there racking your brains, getting frustrated. And at the end, um, we, we, we were pretty sure we had five days left for a good sort of eight days before. <laughs> it's, it's pretty unbelievable. And every day we'd wake up, get five days left, and then sort of go to bed going, no, that's tomorrow. And then highs, I think, I, I mean, personally, we had a, a whale come by and I jumped in, had lots of swimming with a whale. Yeah. Um, and that was phenomenal. Uh, not something you ever imagined doing. You see them in the water, but getting in the water and actually seeing it underwater was, was unbelievable. Um, but wildlife in general, I think we can both agree that. Yeah, yeah, no, unbelievable. We, we saw, I, th I think, pretty much everything on the bucket list from sharks to, to whales, to killer whales, to everything. Dolphins, to dolphins yeah, turtles. Yeah. We, had bird, we had one bird which was called Simon. Uh, we called, so it was following us every single day, apart from two days ago, I think it saw land and was like, screw the guys, I'm, I'm running away <laughs> now. Um, so that was awesome, having that sort of, you know, that sort of glimpse of a bird that you saw every day, it was quite nice following you. The start of the trip wasn't too bad because your adrenaline's going, you're just still getting into it, so sharks not, not the worrying. I mean, we didn't get in the water for about two weeks after that. We delayed cleaning our boat for a while, <laughs> just from paranoia. The, I think, sea sickness, yeah. the seasickness kind of kept us in the boat quite a lot too. So. Quite unbelievable. I mean, we never really had it down as an obstacle for us. So it was sort of yeah. always something there that was extra that we, you know, we used as motivation to get us going. It was but. never the real reason why we did this. And it was just kind of the added bonus, the cherry on top to get it. But so. it is, yeah, phenomenal. It's amazing. The worst bit about the big storm was just being in the cabin. Uh, in the cabin, it gets, I mean, we sweated so much. Unbelievable it broke our sweat. GPS. And we AIS. think that, yeah, we think this, the G GPS and AIS broke from, from water damage. So. I broke two iPods with just sweat in that. It was, it was grim. So the, <laughs> the waves are bit, you get moved about, but being in that cabin is un, yeah, it's dreadful. You Anything more than 10 hours. Yeah. Not fun at all. I would do it again, but uh, give me a year or two and I'll be back <laughs> on it. I mean, I'm not going to jump in and do it now, but I mean, I definitely <laughs> would do it again. <laughs>